Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The need for lightweight tank was felt during the initial phase of Galwan Valley attack when PLA Army has fielded its Type 15 lightweight tanks. The tank weighs just 33 tons with armor package 36 tons. Its main armament includes a 105mm rifled gun having 38 rounds with auto loader. The secondary armament includes remotely operated weapon station armed with coaxial 12.7mm machine gun and QLZ-04 automatic grenade launcher. It was especially designed by Chinese firm Norinco for effective operation in highlands and plateaus, woodland and water-rich regions where the heavier Type 99 and Type 96 main battle tanks might have difficulties in mobilizing. As per reports, the Type 15 light tank has powerful engine, oxygen generators and high power to weight ratio which makes it perfect for high attitude operation. In response, Indian Army has fielded its T-72 weighing 45 tons and T-90 which weighs around 46 tons. These tanks are both heavier than PLA Type 15 tank but having greater firepower and armor protection. However, their mobility was limited in mountainous terrain and also ability to airlift due to heavy weight which was considered as one of the major limitations in these tanks. Indian Army has identified this capability gap in their armory and plan to procure a lightweight tank for effective operation in mountainous terrains that could be an answer to PLA's Army's Type 15 lightweight tanks. In April 2021, the Ministry of Defense issued an official RFI for the purchase of 350 next generation light tanks under Make in India scheme of DAP 2020. The combat weight of tank should not exceed 25 tons with a modular and upgradable main gun, secondary armament for anti-air and ground rolls with different caliber and remote assisted weapon station. Army wanted the tank to be able to fire modern advanced multi-purpose smart munitions with gun tube launched anti-tank guided missile and able to defeat tanks type A vehicle, UAV and soft skin vehicles and PGMs. It should have a stenag level protection from all sides including top. The tank must have explosive reactive armor, soft kill measures, CBRN protection and instant fire detection and suppression system. Now as per DRDO chief, CVRD and LNT has already begun work in full swing on the lightweight tank. In March this year, the lightweight tank has been put under make one category of 2020 defense procurement process which will be funded by government. DRDO has been doing R&D for the lightweight tank and has a tie-up with LNT as development come production partner DCPP. Once the project is complete, the Indian Army can formally place the order. In last one month, DRDO chief has confirmed couple of times that the development of tank will be fully completed by 2023 and will be ready for production. Now if we talk about the design of lightweight tank, there are two options based on which the lightweight tank is expected to be designed. However, there is no official confirmation or firm confirmation on the same. Back in December, CVRD of DRDO has released an RFI for supply of 22 tons of spared 500 steel plates which is medium hardness armor MHA. This MHA has much better protection than the widely used rolled homogeneous steel plates RHA. The crew arrangement shows a three-member crew on chassis which is similar to DRDO's next generation main battle tank design NGMBT. The NGMBT was supposed to be less than 60 ton so it's going to be interesting to see how DRDO can use NGMBT chassis to drastically reduce weight by 25 to 30 tons. It's also worth noting that NGMBT is supposed to use high nitrogen steel HNS as non-reactive armor. Due to better ballistic performance and lower cost, HNS has potential to replace RHA speed steel in armor modules and add on armor structures. What I am not sure is why CVRD is not procuring 
HNS instead of MHA which could have significantly reduced weight and provide better protection and suits perfectly well for light tank requirement. The tank is expected to have weight of 35 ton powered by MTU MT883 KA 500 or 501 diesel engine delivering over 1100 kilowatt shaft power with 10 speed, 5 forward and 5 reverse. The same engine is used in western tanks such as Leclerc, Challenger 2E and Mirakawa MK4. LNT has already delivered 100 K9 Vajras which is 155 mm SPH based on South Korean K9 Thunder. It has been reported that LNT is working with DRDO to convert the Hovitzer Vajra into a light tank. As per report, the project aims to field the first three tank prototypes in 18 months at a project cost of under Rs 200 crore. DRDO design swaps the K9's 155 mm Hovitzer with a modular turret and 105 mm gun made by Belgian firm John Cockrell Defense SA while using Vajra's 28-ton chassis, hull and engine. The 105 mm Belgian gun can fire at a 42 degree elevation suited for mountainous warfare. The LNT's highly automated production line is idle and can churn these tanks at a rate of nearly 100 tanks per year. The K9 light tanks 1000 horsepower engine will give it the power to weight ratio of 28 horsepower per ton. Now there is significant amount of development involved in both the designs and it would be really interesting to see if DRDO along with LNT would be able to complete the development of light tank by 2023. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.